Hello guys and welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel and this is our situation number 5 taken from CE Board Exam May 2015 for the Structural Engineering and Construction. Okay, so before I start, please subscribe on our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So this is our situation number five. The floor framing plan of a reinforced concrete structure is shown in the figure. The columns are 400 by 400 millimeters and the beams are 320 millimeters wide with H is equivalent to 350. So take note natin to yung H. Okay, kasi mamaya, kapag mga ganitong figure, ang pagkakaintindi ninyo sa H is yung effective depth. So if you say effective depth, that is D. Okay, and kapag sinamatic H, that is the overall depth of the beam. Okay, so sabi rito, ang ating beam is 320 mm wide and has an overall depth of 350 mm. The section at supports for beam I, J, K, L, sige, lagyan natin ng shade, and is also shown in the figure. Assume F'C is equivalent to 28 megapascal and FY 415 megapascal. So take note rin natin. And topo so, cinematic F prime C meaning it is the ultimate strength of the concrete and if we say FY this is the yield strength of the steel bars. So the NCP coefficient for continuous beams and slabs are given in table 406.5.2. So ito yung table natin. So mamaya gagamitin natin yan. Okay, so ito yung mga requirements sa ating situation. Number one, calculate the nominal moment strength of the beam. Number two, calculate the maximum factored uniform load, WU, that can be supported by the beam IJKL. And number three, if overall depth is 500 millimeters, calculate the nominal moment strength of the beam. So kapag sinabi natin nominal moment, Ibig sabihin, yung original. Original or yung available. Or, kumbaga, yung given. Okay, yung given is strength ng ating structural member. So, kung nominal moment strength to, ang pinapahanap dyan is yung MN. Okay. So, yan, di ba natin yung figure, oh? TBM yan, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, kung TBIM to, alam natin na monolithic yung pagkakabuhos. So, kapag sinamang natin monolithic, sabay-sabay na binuhusan yung beam and yung slab. Kaya yung slab, siya yung naging planch ng ating rectangular beam. Kaya naging TBIM siya. Pero, kung titignan natin, kung TBIM to kasi, ito isa rin sa kinakatakutan ng mga estudyante, di ba? Nung undergrad. So, kung TBIM kasi, hindi natin alam kung saan mapupunta yung compression block a, hindi ba? It's either nasa flange or nasa web ng ating T-beam. Pero, bago kayo mag-decide doon, tignan muna natin yung ating T-beam. Kung ito bang cross-section na to is kasi kung tignan natin, since monolithic yan, fix lahat yung ano yun, di ba? Mga connection and support. So, since fix, meron tayong negative and positive moment. So, negative ito sa mga support, positive moment naman sa um, actually sa Karaniwan sa, or kadalasan sa gitna. Hindi ba? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong negative bending and positive bending. So, i-check natin yung ating section kung ito ba ay positive bending or nasa negative bending ng ating beam. Ano ba napapansin natin sa ating section? Ah, yes. It is not just a T-beam. Okay? It is also doubly reinforced beam. Kasi meron tayong ano eh, bakal sa top and bottom uh, fiber. So, check natin. Tignan muna natin to So, natin yung total area dito. So, let's say, ano, um, AS1. So, pi over 4 multiplied by 20 squared. Then, multiplied by A. Ah, uh, 8, sorry. So, ako kasi ang ugali ko kapag ganito, tinatanggal ko muna yung pi. Ayan. So, 800. So, para buo na siya. So, 800. Then, nilalagay na lang natin dito yung pi. Para mas madali siyang i-type. So, 800 pi, then millimeter squared. Then, check naman natin to. Sabihin natin ito ay AS2. 
So, papat natin yung diameter. Ano ba diameter niya? 28. Then, 4 bars. So, this is 784. Pi. Millimeter squared. So, since ang ating AS1 is greater than sa ating AS2, anong ibig sabihin nun? Or indication nun? Eh, kapag sa beam, saan ba mahina ang concrete? Sa compression or sa tension? Alam natin na mahina ang concrete sa tension. Ibig sabihin, doon yung part ng beam or concrete na nangangailangan ng mas maraming bakal. So, dito, since mas malaki yung ating AS1, ibig sabihin, dito mahina yung ating beam. Or itong um, part na to ng ating beam is subjected to tensile stresses. Ibig sabihin, yung top natin is in tension. So, kung ang top natin is in tension, ibig sabihin, negative bending. Yung ating section na given is nasa section na ang bending is negative. Or yung moment, or bending moment is negative. So dito, pwede nating ma-analyze yung ating TBIM at makuha yung nominal moment strength. Hmm, okay, so check natin siguro. Sabihin natin ang ating... Ang ating compression block is andito. Kasi hindi naman natin masasabing andito yung compression block eh. Diba? So dito na lang muna. Ayan. At syempre, positive, uh, negative bending tayo. So tensile natin is nasa taas. Ayan. Then ang compression natin is nasa baba. Okay, so this is our A or compression block. Pwede rin naman natin ipakita yung ano eh, ipakita yung stress diagram natin. Ayan. So drawing natin. So ito, in compression. Tapos ito naman, in tension. So, this is T. Then, this is C1 for the concrete. Tapos, ito naman para sa C2. And this is the, um, the force for the compression steel. And syempre, by summation of forces horizontal, alam natin na ang ating T or tensile force due to or tensile force from the tension steel bar is equivalent to C1 plus C2. So, ang T natin is equivalent Okay, sige. Assumption muna. Uh, by the way, ito yung unang beses namin na magtuturo ng ano or mag-record mag -record ng RC. Okay, kasi pang RC to eh. Anyway, uh, ang gusto kasi talaga namin kapag nadidiscuss kami is merong introduction about the concept. Pero okay lang din naman kasi ang video naman na to is nakahanda or nakaprepare para sa mga reviewees. So kahit wala ng introduction para sa kanila, eh pwede na. So sa lahat ng mga mga panood nito na undergrad, hintay-hintay lang kayo. Soon makapaggawa rin kami ng mga discussion about reinforced concrete design na merong um, discussion sa introduction and concept. Okay? So, unang assumption natin, uh, tension still yields. So, ibig sabihin, kung nag-yield ang ating tension still, ang ating Fs dito is equivalent to Fy. Kasi mag-i-exceed mag tayo eh. Kapag sinabi kasi natin ano, still yield, nag-exceed tayo sa FY. Eh, hindi tayo pwede mag-exceed dyan. So, since nag-exceed tayo, i-assume natin na yung um, yes, yung ating tensile stress para sa tension steel is equivalent lamang sa FY. Isa pa nating assumption is yung compression steel then 
is na guild. So, ibig sabihin ng ating FS prime is equivalent also to F white. Anyway, mag-check naman tayo mamaya kung mag-yield nga ba talaga sila or hindi. Kasi assumption pa lamang to. Okay. So, ang P natin is AS multiplied by FS is equivalent to C1 which is for concrete, no? So, 8, uh, 0.85 F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by P. Then, plus AS prime multiplied by FS prime. So, since in natin na ito ay mag yield therefore, ang ating P is ASFY is equivalent to 0.85 F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by B plus AS prime multiplied by FY. Na kung saan ang ating AS is yung kaninang nasod natin, yung AS1, that is 800 pi millimeter squared. Ang atin namang AS prime is equivalent to AS2, which is equivalent to 784 pi millimeter squared. So, given na lahat dito, ang unknown na lang is A. So, masasod natin ng A. So, AS 800 pi multiplied by FY. Mabing FY natin, 415. 415 is equivalent to 0.85 multiplied by F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by B, which is 320. And yes, by the way, since ang ating uh, compression fiber is nasa web, wala tayong magiging problema. Kasi kahit T-beam to, ang analysis lamang natin ay simple rectangular beam. Diba? Rectangle lang yan. Wala tayong pakalam dito sa lunch. Kasi under yan sa ano, eh, tension. So, i-assume natin na magkakrack sila. Ang lahat na magkikerry ng tensile stress is yung mga bakal. Kaya wala tayong pakalam sa plunge. Okay? So, ilan to? Okay, kulang pa. AS prime. 784 pi multiplied by um, ilan yun? FY, no? Ang FY natin is 415. Okay? So, sod natin. So, ang lumabas is 2.739. So, sobrang liit, no? 2.739 millimeter. And then, kunin natin yung C. Ang C natin is equivalent to A over beta. So, based sa ating given na F prime C na 28 megapascal, ang ating beta niyan is equivalent to 0.85 kasi hindi siya lumagpas ng 30 megapascal. So, pakicheck na lamang sa ating code kung ano man yung ginagamit natin kasi merong code na kapag lumagpas tayo sa 28, papalta na kagad or isod natin yung beta. Meron namang code na 30 metapascal yung basis. Pero, alam namin sa NSCP 2015, ang ating beta is equivalent to 0.85 minus 0.05 over 7 multiplied by F prime C minus 30. Ayan. Meron naman dito yung nakalagay is 28 yata or something. So, pakicheck na lamang sa code na gagamitin ninyo. So, since... Hindi nga tayo lumagpas sa 30 megapascal, ang ating beta is 0.85. So, makukuha natin ng C. So, 2.739 over 0.85 is 3.222. So, sobrang liit. So, I think mali na talaga ito. Anyway, may check naman talaga natin. So, check natin yung ating ano? Yung ating FS and... FS prime. So, ang ating FS is 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. At yung ating FS prime is equivalent to 600 multiplied by C minus D prime over C. Yung D natin dito is yung H minus 600. Ah, sorry. Hindi. 600 tuloy, sorry. H minus 600 ay 65 pala. Sorry, sorry. Yan. Kasi dito yung ano eh, compression, di ba? So, remember ang ating D is uh, with respect to the top or sa ano, sa ito, extreme compression fiber hanggang dun sa uh, centroids ng tension steel bar. Okay, so H minus 65. So, ilan yun? Uh, 350 minus 65. So, this is 285. Ito yung ating effective depth. So, solve natin. So, 600. 
multiplied by 285 minus 3.222 over 3.222. So, ito 5, ano na siya? 54. Okay, 54, 472. Ay, 52. 472. Point something. Okay, 63. Megapascal. And then, ito naman. Tanggalin lang natin yung D. Then, i-minus natin yung D prime, which is equivalent to 60. The negative, 10,573. So, ano nangyari? Dito, yung ating FS is na greater than sa FY. So, okay tayo kasi yun ang ating assumption eh. You know? Okay? mag exit talaga tayo sa FY. Pero, dun sa pangalawa, yung ating FS prime kasi is na less than sa FY. So, dito, hindi tayo okay. Ibig sabihin, hindi nag-yield yung bakal natin sa compression fiber. So, ano gagawin natin? Ulitin lang natin yung solution natin. Pero this time, yung ating FS prime is equivalent na sa 600 multiplied by C minus D prime over C. Tapos, yung gagamitin natin para sa A dito is equivalent to Beta multiplied by C. So, this is equivalent to 0.85 multiplied by C. So, ganun pa rin. ASFY is equivalent to 0.85 multiplied by F prime C multiplied by A na 0.85 of C multiplied by B plus AS prime multiplied by 600 multiplied by dinakasya. Okay. Ito nang mahaba. Ayan. So, plus AS prime multiplied by 600 multiplied by C minus D prime over C. At ang, ang noon natin ngayon is yung C. Solve natin yung C natin. Ang C is location ng ano ha? Neutral axis. So, iba yun ha? So, let's say andito yung C. And alam naman natin na mas malaki ang C sa letter A or sa compression block. So, ito yung value ng C. And itong blue na to, ito yung location ng ating neutral axis. So, solve natin. 800 pi multiplied by 415. Ah, yes. Assumption pa rin natin sa, ano, sa tension still is nag-yield. Kasi dito napatunayan natin na mag-yield talaga siya. Pero mali itong value na to. Kasi sagrado tayo na ang FS natin is equivalent lamang sa FY kasi nga mag-yield siya. Okay, lalo na to. Mas mali to kasi um, nag-negative siya eh. So, mali ang assumption natin sa una. Okay, so 0.85 F' C 28 multiplied by 0.85 of C multiplied by 350 uh, 350 ba? Ah, 320. 320 then a plus, okay? AS prime, which is at 784 by Multiplied by 600, multiplied by C, minus D prime, which is 60, over C. Yan. So, 88.187. Ah, uh, 174. 174 millimeters. So, ngayon, pwede na natin ma-check yung FS and um, FS prime. So, gamitin natin yung equation na to. So, 600 multiplied by D, which is 285 minus 88.174 over 88.174. So, 1339. 1339.347 mega pascal. Tapos, yung ating FS prime is, tanggalin natin yung D I-minus natin yung D prime dito. Okay, so 191.716. 716 mega pascal. So, ang second assumption kasi natin, nag-yield yung ating tension still, tapos yung ating FS prime is hindi na nag-yield. So, ito, nag-greater than tayo sa FY, ito naman nag-less than tayo sa FY. So, parehas na silang okay. Yan. So, ngayon, Nag-okay na yung ating dalawang condition, ibig sabihin, tama na rin yung ating C. Kung tama na yung ating C, makukuha na natin ngayon yung ating compression block, which is equivalent sa 0.85 of C. So, 
4. So, 74.948 millimeters. Ngayon, makukuha na natin yung ating MN or nominal moment. The nominal moment is equivalent to C1 multiplied by D minus A over 2. Kasi yung ating C1, ang centroids niya is andito sa kalahati ng A. So, A over 2. Remember, makakarapas tayo dito ng popol. Diba? Ang ikot nito is pag ganyan. Okay, ito yung ating MN. At ang uh, nag-cost ng uh, moment na to, or bending moment strength na to, is yung uh, compression force, saka yung ating tension force. Kaya yung ating moment arm is ito. Uh, actually, hindi natin makukuha ng basta-basta yung moment arm. Kailangan pala natin ng uh, tinatawag nating baring ng theorem. Pero ang gawin natin, Ang iikot na lamang is yung C1 na kung saan ang kanyang moment arm is ito. Ayan. Dito pala. Okay, so sorry. Mali yung pagkakadrawing dito or pagkakalagay natin. Ayan. So, dito yung ating moment arm para sa C1. So, let's say E1. Tapos, ito naman yung moment arm ng ating C2 which is D2. Ngayon, yung ating D1 is D minus A over 2. Ay, wait lang. Tama, ito. P minus A over 2. Ayan, ito yung A over 2 natin. Okay? Medyo nakakalito lang siya kasi nakabaligtad, no? Tapos, yung C2 naman, so i-add lang natin yan. So, C2 multiplied by D minus, anong i-minus natin dito? Yung D prime, which is equivalent to 60 millimeters. So, D prime. Okay. So, kunin natin ang C1 and C2. Ang C1 natin, 0.85 of F prime C multiplied by A na 74.948. Okay? Multiplied by 320. Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, 570.804. Kilo newton. Meter. Ah, sorry. This is force pala, no? So, kilo newton lang. C2 naman, AS prime, no? So, 784 multiplied by pi multiplied by FS prime. Ang FS prime natin ngayon is 191.716. Okay, then divided by 1,000. So, 472.198. So, makukuha natin ito ngayon. So, C1, 570.804 multiplied by D, na 285 multiplied by, ay, minus A, 74.948 over 2. Then, plus uh, C2, which is 472.198 multiplied by D, na 285 minus D prime na 60. Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton meter. Kasi ito, Kilo newton, ito naman, millimeters. So, divide natin na 1,000 para maging meter to. So, 247.533. And this is kilo newton meter. So, check natin kung tama. Okay, so 247.5 kilo newton. So, kung napapansin nyo rito, yung ating uh, tensile stress para sa AS prime, is binabawasan natin. Okay? Binabawas yung stress natin para sa ano, concrete. Yan. Kasi nga, syempre, yung ating uh, compression steel bar is nasa ano, compressive stress. Kaya binabawas natin. Pero, yung iba namang book, ganito lang siya kasimple. I don't know kung meron tayong provision about doon. Hindi ko lang naitanong sa iba kong kasamahan sa faculty. Pero sa mga lecture na nabasa ko doon sa co-faculty ko, ito, ganito yung ginagawa. And may naalala rin ako noon nung nag-review ako sa review center noon na ginagamit to Anyway, hindi naman ganun masyadong nakakalayo yung, ano, yung kanilang sagot kung sakali mang gagamitin nyo ito.